Yo, 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 it's Big Ant, the spokesman, man. We back. Another edition of Urban Politicians TV, UPTV. Make sure you stay on your pivot at all times, man. Had to come tap in on one of the biggest stars in the boxing world today out of Oakland, California, and the lightweight undisputed champion of the world, Devin Haney, being arrested out in L.A. after leaving the nighttime spot, got pulled over, and had a gun in the car. And from what the reports are saying, somebody did not understand the assignment. Communication was not done properly because it don't add up on what TMZ is reporting in the story. As it says this, boxing star Devin Haney was arrested on Thursday morning following a night out in Hollywood. After cops say they found a semi-automatic handgun in his car during a routine traffic stop. The 30 and old fighter who's coming off a huge win over Vasily Lomachenko was out at Catch LA on Wednesday when just minutes after he left the hot spot around midnight, law enforcement tells TMZ Sports cops pulled over his ride due to an unsafe lane change and a failure to use turn signal. According to authorities, Haney was not driving, but the person who was told officers during the stop there was a firearm inside of the ride. Cops say they then got Haney and his security out of the car, and when they searched the vehicle, they say they found a semi-automatic handgun under the driver's seat. Law enforcement tell us no one took ownership of the gun, and since the car was registered to Haney, he was arrested and booked for felony possession of a concealed weapon. Jail records show he was released at 8.12 a.m. Thursday on $35,000 bail. He's doing court for a hearing on the, the matter next month. And as I said right there, that's language of either the security guard did not understand his assignment because they acknowledged he was security. He then told the police that there was a gun in the car and TMZ got them coming out of the spot right here and everything right before they was arrested. You expect a boxer, top of the world, go kick back, relax a little bit. He moving right with his security. He moving correctly. I got the guy with me that's supposed to be handling things. There's a weapon in the car that the security knew about because he told the police from what the reports say the gun was there. But why tell him that if you're not going to take ownership of the gun? Because now, that being Devin Haney's car, he got to take the gun charge now. And that could be a little setback. Now, hopefully it's a minor setback, and it should be because they should be able to work things out. But here we go again, as I tell y'all, the overall outdated laws as a whole and the outdated gun laws, and it's different from state to state on how things go when we see different situations, but California is most definitely one of them where these gun laws are outdated because we've seen right here, he has security. A lot of y'all say all the time, for rappers and different entertainers, get security. Now, I don't know if this is homeboy security or he's professionally working and documented and paid, but when I see it a write-up, you told the police it was a gun in the car, so you knew there was a gun in there. Well, why didn't you take it if you known as the security? Why didn't you say, hey, I'm actually working security right now. This is Devin Haney. He's a, a professional boxer, lightweight, undisputed champion of the world. So I'm here to protect him. This is the firearm. Instead of when you sit there, you get silent, don't say nothing. So guess who the charge going to? The nigga that owned the car. It's never supposed to happen like that. But like I tell y'all all the time, y'all think you just be rappers. Nah, he a boxer, man. He just kicking back, relaxing, taking a break, going to vibe, mingle. He put in a lot of work to get where he at. And this is now another top boxer we have doing jail time or facing charges and everything because Javante Davis had to turn himself in on something a little bit different from this situation. But still, look what the headlines is reading today. And that's why I always tell y'all, man, the game is the game. The game is wicked. And it can go wrong for anybody at any time. The security guard can't drive. And the, the assignment of having an understanding of what go down when these police come into place was not understood. But we shall see. I'm not going to put it all on the security guard right now. The write-up could be wrong. They could get their information wrong from the police. But we shall see what really went on. Tell me what y'all think. We got more coming, more videos, all that. 1,000 for shit show. Stay on your pivot.